I want her shooting. All right, you got this again. It's the next year. It's your junior year. This is you, you're on the line. If you put this, the clock is at zero. It's a tied game. You make this, you go, you are the champion. mission to empower youth. This is my journey. A human project has gone from it being this idea that I had in my head. Uh, you know, I retired from the entrepreneurial space, was super passionate about doing a human project. When, you, when my wife talks about it, she'll be like, yeah, Wes had this really cute idea that he was going to go and talk to kids, and I thought it would last for like six months. And um, you know, now we're in three years into doing it. We're in 14 countries, and it's just taking off. And so the pods are designed where you're supported by a human project, but you get to be customized to your community and the things that you need. And like I said, most importantly, stay as a listening ear to, to the children and give them the opportunity to not always talk about their problems. So you do the lesson, you then talk about it for 10, 15 minutes, let the kids kind of open up to you and then have some kind of planned activity to allow them to do something that's not about their past or their current situation or whatever. It's an honor to reach out to the people here because we really do love them. And the youth have, have chosen to come here, not all of them, but there's been a select that started with five during the summer and when we when school ended it was ten. And I'm like, look at around the room you guys, you did a good job. I didn't invite anybody, they did. They started loving and pulling people in. If there's people that you want to connect us to, um, I think myself personally or professionally, um, I think I'm open to that. Um, and we offer like suicide prevention trainings, things like that. I'm Kylie, I work with Three Rivers Mental Health. Uh, I grew up here. I swore I would never come back here. And I've been here for a while now. <laughs> um, I just, I want to see things change. I want to see things better. I want to see the kids stop hurting. about a year ago, and uh, before that I worked 13 years at the Stanford Middle School as the administrative assistant, and I was like, I don't know if I can do it. At the Middle School at Stanford, you not only saw the kids from Fort Gates, but from the long districts of conservation. And we just need to change and make it better for them. It was uh, <coughs> Robert, uh, where we go to my valley, my mountain. I, uh, <coughs> I felt this community. Uh, I didn't want 15 years. <laughs> All the time. Uh, I lost a uh, son. How easy it is to me. The quote that, that really is the foundation of a human project is, I am proof that it's all okay. I'm here to live another day. I'm here to be me, I'm human. And that speaks to the part of, we don't save anyone. It's not our jobs. We don't change lives, that's not our job. All we're here to be is proof that everything's okay and that they have the right to live another day and they can be who they are and at the end of the day, we're all human. 
doesn't matter our skin color, our income status, our weight, our sex, doesn't matter. We're all human beings. So right now we're on our way to a uh, treatment facility for youth. These are where kids are basically in, in the, I don't want to say high risk, but these are kids that have been identified that um, have just got a lot going on in their lives and this is a place where they can come and kind of work through that. I'm ready to be ready to do what I'm supposed to do. I don't want to do this anymore. Do I need to come here? Like, I don't want to go back to DDC. Because I don't want to be here. But I don't have to do this for myself. You know, I can relate to you. My dad has never been there for me. My dad chose the medical for me. My mom had to, and so I had to go to my grandma for a while. Um, you know, look at my dad and my mom now. My mom just got home from prison. My dad, you know, he's, he calls here once in a while, but it's not the same. You know, he's better off without me than another. My mom, she, she's trying so hard to be there for me, but, you know, she can't replace those years she left me dead. And the years she chose her boyfriend and met over me. So, you know, it just seems like my family's happy without me. I want you guys to really understand, like, I get it. And, and I know about levels, and I know about, you know, places that you have to be, and orientations, and medications, and group counseling, and, and rules, and conversations, and all that fun stuff. Highest suicide rate in the United States is right here. Weed, drugs, alcohol, is it fixing anything? No, it's hiding stuff all the time, usually you don't want to deal with what's going on at home. You don't want to deal with your real problems. You don't want to look in the mirror and say, I made these choices. Normal is just a state of being. It doesn't have any meaning at all. I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to having pride of where you come from and who you are, I think that's pretty damn important. And my message to you guys, really, like the overall like high level message to you, is you can come out of anything. Hello. <laughs> so good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody gets lucky once. I want her shooting. All right, you got this again. It's the next year. It's your junior year. This is you, you're on the line. If you put this, the clock is at zero. It's a tied game. You make this, you go, you are the champion. Oh, oh champion! It's time to school these kids. So where's your team? Am I gonna go left? Am I gonna go right? Left, right, left, right. Pull up. Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh! No! Oh! What's going on? Pops. Oh! Yeah, Maya. All right. Now that I know you guys can score. Now I'll start playing. What is wrong? Those should go in. There it is, there it is. Oh! Six all. Okay, don't let them, we gotta win by two. <laughs> Boom! Seven, six, one more girls. Oh, this is it, game seven. Clock's down to 20, 15. My Flintstone feet are giving Oh, 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 where's the confetti? It's all gotta come down, cause we just won. Oh, we just won against a bunch of seventh <laughs> grade. <laughs> hey, you behind the camera, zip it. 
You know, I've been asked so many times, what do children want? What do children, in these situations, when you come to the communities, what's the number one thing? Children just want to be heard. Children just want to be heard. They want to be understood. You have no idea. Some children are dealing with friends who are thinking about suicide. Some, some are dealing with friends who have committed suicide. Some are just dealing with being all alone. Some are dealing with parents' disabilities where parents can't come to an activity or to graduation. You have no idea what children are dealing with in your community. You just don't. And that's why it's so important for them to be heard. And it takes a village to raise a child. It takes a community to raise a child. This isn't one person. This isn't one thing. This is. This takes a community, and it takes a community that are hearing children. You never know. A child could walk through the doors and everything looks okay. Everything looks like they're put together. And inside they're feeling all alone. Inside they're feeling suicidal. Inside they're feeling like they want to cut. Inside they're feeling like nobody understands them. You just don't know. And it takes 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes, five minutes to just figure out. And if it's hard, if you can't crack the nut, right? If they're up on top of a bleacher, if they're not listening, if they're sitting out to the side, they don't want to talk to you, find something. These children want to be heard and sometimes they don't have the knowledge and the skill sets on how to make that happen. So we've got to be the adults and we've got to allow them the time and the opportunity. We've got to step up and it just takes a little bit of your time. Thank you. I personally want to thank you for taking the time, the time to watch this video. It truly means a lot to me. I'm humbled. Now, as my token to really tr truly show you how thankful I am, right here, I want to give you a free gift. I'm going to give you a t-shirt. It's a t-shirt that we give out to youth all around the world. It's an incredibly powerful t-shirt. By you wearing that, I hope it connects you to our mission. And selfishly, when you wear that, it's going to bring more exposure to our organization and to what we're trying to do, which is to build a community of empowered youth all around the globe. Thank you so much for your support. If this video resonated with you even a little bit, if there was just something funny in it that you loved, if there was something that touched you, please share this video. It would mean a lot to us. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic day.